Hi there, boys and girls. Miss Fernandez here. So I am going to ask you to please open up your religion book to page 144. I know that you have finished reading the chapter, but I would like to review some key elements that I think are important in your understanding of the chapter and to get prepared for our online quiz that we have on Friday. So what I want to talk to you a little bit about is Lent um, and Easter. Our book is a little ahead, so we are at East, we haven't gotten to Easter yet. Um, but Lent is, as you know, the preparation of our hearts, our minds, and our sacrificial offerings to the Lord um, right before Easter, right? So in many ways, us being home and us um, not being at school and having to stay in is a huge sacrifice, right? And I think it is also important to realize that God's sacrifice is you know, and was 10 times bigger than any sacrifice that we will ever be able to have in our lifetime. And I think it's really beautiful to know that at the end of the day, Easter happens every year. Easter is um, the time where we celebrate Jesus's resurrection, right? And um, I know that that has been highlighted a little bit for you, but I wanted to um, direct your attention to page 144 when it talks about um, death being a time of sadness and joy. And I encourage you to, you know, think about um, Jesus's death and think about his way to the cross, which we will be celebrating in the Catholic Church. And we um, are not celebrated, but we honor that time in the Catholic Church. And we then celebrate Easter at the end, basically the light at the end of the tunnel. So what I am going to have, I'm going to read to you um, just a quick um little excerpt that St. Paul writes, um, and I, I, it's, it's quoted from Corinthians, um, and I know that we've read some parts of the Bible, and so I just wanted to make sure that we're still doing that at home. So, St. Paul tells us that in, in one of his letters that God has prepared wonderful things for us in heaven. He says that no one has ever seen or heard such wonderful things. No one can even imagine what God has prepared for those who love him. Love him. How wonderful would it be how wonderful it will be in heaven with God our Father and all the other people who love him. And this is just a prayer that you can close your eyes and just listen to. Help us, Jesus, when suffering takes away people we love. Help us trust your care, knowing that you love each of us very much. When we are sad because we miss those who have died, help us remember that they are happy with you and that someday we will join them to be with you forever. So that is just a little prayer that helps us prepare our hearts on Good Friday for Jesus dying on the cross. And we will go more into that. And I know that um, in computer soon you will have an assignment that has to do with the Stations of the Cross. But I just wanted to make sure that you had that little reflection to start off your religion lesson and to continue to finish all the activities um, in religion. And let me know if you have any questions.